All right, we have this problem on the board. So my first step, I want to express 12. I want to express 12, which we have 2 times 2, which is 4 times 3, as a product of, the, of this prime factor, which is 2 raised to the power 2 times 3. For 18, is 2 times 9, and 9 means 3 times 3. So I have 2 times 3 raised to the power 2. Okay, what else? We have 108. 108 means we have 2 times 2 times what? 3 times 3 times 3. This will give us 2 raised to the power 2 times what? 3 raised to the power 3. Now, lastly, for 162, I have this as 2 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. So this will give me 2 times 3 raised to the power 4. Alright, so this is our first step to this question. Now we are going to input all this in place of 12, 18, 108, and 162 in this expression. So if I'm writing the expression, I have, of course, 3. Okay, multiply. We add 18. So 18 means what this? So I have 2 times 3 raised to the power 2. In bracket raised to power what? It was 18 raised to power 2 n plus 1. Okay. We'll close the bracket. Now minus 12 is the next expression. 12 is 2 raised to power 2 times what? 3. Okay. Then we have uh, 3 raised to power what? 4n plus 2 multiplied by what? 2 raised to power 2n. Okay, so all this divide by, of course, I had 108, so 108 is going to take this, so I have 2 raised to the power 2 multiplied by what? 3 raised to the power 3, as for the 108, and we have the next thing is 2 multiplied by what? Okay, we have 162, which will be 2 times what? 3 raised to the power 4 all in bracket n. So our new expression becomes this. So I've gotten this. We can see that the whole expression now has only twos and threes. The whole expression now has only twos and threes. So what we are going to do, we have to remember the law of we have a raised to power x multiplied by b raised to power y. Okay? All in bracket z. We can say a z will multiply what x and what z will multiply y so y z so we are going to be applying this law of indices into the whole expression so watch carefully why we do that so the first one is this has a power of one so i want to use this to times these two powers so we have of course three multiply this times this we have two raised to power what 2n plus 1 into this multiply this so i have 3 raised to the power this times this is what 4n plus what 2 okay now for this part i have minus okay so i have okay let's keep like terms so we have 2 raised to the power 2 multiply 2 raised to the power what 2n Okay, multiply what? We have 3. Okay, multiply by what? We have 3 raised to the power what? Multiply 3 raised to the power 4n plus 2. Okay, so all this divide by what? Okay, let's also keep all the 2's here. So this is 2 raised to the power 2. Okay, now this is 3 raised to the power what? 3. Okay, this time this is 2 raised to the power 2. 2 raised to the power 2. But we are going to multiply the n by the power here. So we have n. And this 3 raised to the power 4 multiplied by the power n. So it's 3 raised to the power 4n. So we have this. Now from this, if I further simplify, I can see that applying the law we have this is 2 raised to the power 2n plus 1 
multiply 3 will multiply this so it will be 3 raised to the power 4 n plus this has a power of 1 so we'll add it here so 2 plus 1 okay so minus these two powers we have so this is 2 raised to the power what? 2 n plus 2 now there's a power of 1 here so it will add up so 3 raised to the power 4 n plus 2 plus 1 all this divide by yeah so this and this will multiply so we have 2 raised to the power 2 n plus what 2 multiply this is 3 raised to the power 4 n okay plus this power applying the law of indices so this is all what we have all right from this if we further simplify i'm going to get okay i'm going to have that 2 raised to the power 2n plus 1 okay multiply this is 3 so 3 raised to the power 4n plus 3 minus what this is what 2 raised to the power 2n plus 2 into this 3 raised to the power 4n plus 3 again because this is 3 divide by what we have 2 raised to the power 2n plus 2 multiply by 3 raised to the power 4n plus 3 so that's what we have now All right from this i can see that this is common this is common so remember if we have such an expression i can simply apply if i have a plus b over x it becomes what a over x plus b over x so it means we are going to apply it here so i have 2 raised to the power what? 2n plus 1 okay into 3 raised to the power 4n plus 3 this will divide by the denominator which is 2 raised to the power 2n plus 2 multiply 3 raised to the power 4n plus 3 so minus 2 raised to the power 2n plus 2 into 3 raised to the power 4n plus 3 divide by what 2 raised to the power 2n plus 2 into 3 raised to the power 4n plus 3. So if we watch out, this can cancel. This is 1, 1. Okay. So we are left with this part. Now for this part, you can see that this can cancel. This is 1, 1. So we are left with 2 raised to the power 2n plus 1 all over what? 2 raised to the power 2n plus 2 minus 1. This is 1 over 1. Now from this expression, I can say 2 raised to the power 2n multiply 2 raised to the power 1 all over what? 2 raised to the power 2n multiply 2 raised to the power 2 minus 1 over 1. The question is how did I get this? Remember law has it that if I have a raised to power n plus b, I can write as a raised to power n multiplied by a raised to power b. So law has it that we have this. So this expression in this form, I have to change it to this form, which is this. And this expression, I have to change it to this form, from this form to this form. All right, so I haven't gotten that. I can see that this and this are common, so they can cancel out. So we are left with what? 2 raised to the power 1 divided by what? 2 raised to the power 2 minus 1 over 1. Alright, so from this, of course, we know that 2 raised to the power 2 is 4. Okay, so I can simply write this is 2 over 4 minus 1 over 1. 2 over 4 means what? This is 1, this is 2. So we have half minus 1 over 1. Okay, so if we cross multiply, 1 times 1 is 1, 2 times 1 is 2, divide by this time, this is what, 2. So when this way first, 1, when this way, 2, when this way, 2. So we have 1 minus 2 is minus 1 over 2. So that's our final answer to this question. Alright, if you like this video, hit the subscribe button, share to your friends and your loved ones. Thank you for watching.